just never gets old. I, I do, though. <laughs> you do. <laughs> it's my introduction to my first guest, the front man of status. You are a rock and roll legend, Mr <laughs> Francis Rossi. You said he wouldn't say all that. I did. Well, that's all I'm saying. I mean, that's yeah. literally all. But you are, mate. I mean, you absolutely are. And Legends are old and dead usually, aren't they, really? Well, no, you can have living ones. I'm looking at a living one. <laughs> I'm, I'm, too, I'm looking at you. Well, Come well, on. Barely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's everything go? You're on tour doing a, a one man thing. Well, I call it one man. I got my man with me, Andy Brook. Um, it's something I said to you before that I never thought I would get into or like so much and keep wishing I'd done it years ago. But as we said, you can't. It's now. And um, I realised. So I was telling you some story that as soon as you come off, you just become some old bloke again that's anonymous. There's something happens when, you, something happens, when yeah. you when you come onto the stage. Yeah, it's delightful. It, it, We're insecure little show-offs. We are. We are. But but very different for you to do this kind of thing. I mean, you're used to be being in the in the in the, the stadiums and the arenas yeah, and know, with the you band. You know what that's like. There's something I heard people talk about the intimacy. Not the site that used to be in the Newton's book. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Keep it nice. And uh, <laughs> there's something about that. And um, and uh, when I started, I first wanted to be an Everly brother. Yeah. And the idea of boomy jangy, boomy jangy, sing, sing, boomy jangy, rather than... Yeah, I yeah. can't do it. I've been trying for years and I'm still... I still practice every day. And I said to one of my sons yesterday, I still can't quite get there. I can sort of do a good imitation of perhaps what it should be. But I'm really happy doing Boomy Jangy, Boomy Jangy. So is that what the uh, the, the, the show is? Explain yeah, the show. Explain what we'll see. Well, well, there see. is some chat. The first one was talk, and they're mainly talk, and I put, talk people to death, which was quite nice to see. And uh, now it's, it's singing lots of uh, Corey songs, some of my what we'd call favourites, and I have a problem with favourites, but the songs that I like. And what, what do you mean you have a problem with favourites? Well, when people ask, what's your favourite Quo song ever? One? Yeah, <laughs> or what's yeah. your favourite movie? One? You, I Can't don't know. Do I'm amazed that people can have this one favourite. Um, and so I do a bunch of things with some of the early, couple of early blues things. I do Max Dint Men. I do um, lots of nice tunes and I so, so enjoy it. It's frustrating that how much I enjoy it, kind so, of. And it's just you with the guitars? Me and a guy, Andy Brook, who's my guitar tech at work and he made quite albums with me. He's an engineer, big head. Basically, <laughs> if I didn't have to, have, if I put a screen in front of him, I would and just pretend it was me. You mean he's talented? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. That's what I meant. I think yes. Yes. And 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 and, and is it? Are there stories as well with the I go do with come the, up with them. I tell because you're great, great at talking. You, you I noticed, are. haven't you? I, <laughs> I do little stories about my dad or whatever come into my mind at the moment because we we broke at the beginning of the summer. And you start thinking, wait a minute, uh, you know what it's like, the rhythm of going on every day. Yeah. And then I'm starting to think now, I just said to my PA, I don't remember where that story goes. So it might be good in as much as after a while you, you put the story in the same place, so it becomes a little well, too... Well, that's what happens, isn't it? Yeah. You, as you get into the rhythm yeah. and you start understanding what's working with the audience and what needs to go where... You, yeah, you, I, I, it almost it's not scripted, but you understand. Yeah, exactly. But I think that there's a fine line between wow, that's slick to it's wow, it's mundane and boring. So, and so I'm going to move the st great stories about my dad, who I think had dyslexic hearing. He would hear th I can't tell those stories here, but he would hear things that definitely people didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> and he was great, great. St any story, and a recent one was well, I do a thing about Jimi Hendrix and a guy that used to work for. Mel Kingsnall and I remembered at the time sayings that people did and, and uh, I, he said I got to see uh, Jimi Hendrix last night and I said oh what was that like he went oh wah beg your pardon he said oh wah so oh what was very good and then if it was even better that was just wah and then oh wah and then better again was just wah <laughs> Nothing came out, you know. And I remember that whole area of people going, oh, what? What's the food like? Oh, what? <laughs> and it, <laughs> it fascinates me. So stuff comes to mind, as you know, and you just go for it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is it a different... Do you get nervous going on and doing this thing? on your, I, I can't imagine you as a nervous performer. No, I'm not nervous. There's something... And I've gotten better at it since I've been doing this stuff on my own. And and very much that you you're saying, 
What am I going to do? I don't know. You walk and you know exactly what you're going to do. And I don't know why or how. There have been a couple of nights where I may stumble and then I'll just tell the audience, sorry, I just stumbled. But that's the lovely thing. Yes. With, 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 if some, I mean, it's like doing this. I'm always doing things wrong. Mm. But if you if you own up, if you, if you own up to... to well, then to I don't get jumpy. And then you, you, get jumpy. Yeah. you say, you know, this is me. This is yeah. what happens. This is actually... Whereas in my other job, the day job, if I, I regularly make mis- makes mistakes on the guitar... And if I do that, is another one going to come up in the next split second? So that I get more and more jumpy. Yeah. Because I think, really, uh, all that time I've been out of my mould, playing, trying to play lead guitar, as I said before. But when I'm some bummy jungy, and if I do make a mistake, I just mess it. Should we start again? Good, we'll start again. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. and you can do that. Yeah. By flying yeah. by your pants, kind of. So much ha- better. So how long will the, this... Uh, it starts on the 12th of September, and I think the 29th of... November. Then I go home for the log fire and, and jigsaw puzzles and crook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how long is it going to be until Quo go out again? Uh, we're thinking of going. Out, well, we I think we are going out next summer. We start in May and finish again in September, and then I'm off to I think Sweden to do more of this stuff that I. I'm suddenly working too much again. No, 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 no. What, no. Are you what else you going to do? I don't know. What else are you going to do? I don't know. I'm going to try and outdo Ken Dodd. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be on stage a long yeah, time. Yeah, I mean. I think there's a possibility. How, yeah. diff- how different is it now with... I mean, Rick's been gone for mm. seven years. Uh-huh. How different is it for you? Well, you know, it's showbiz, and people hate you to say this, but you just get up and carry on again. When my mother died or my father died, yeah. no one ever, ever asked me that. And you just get up. Plus, Rick was always getting ill and falling over. Something would go wrong. We'd gotten used to say, right, we had to get John Edward's son in to stand in, Freddie. And then we couldn't... We'd love to have kept Freddie, but he was far too attractive, young and tall. You don't need that? No. No, no, no. No. Tall's bad enough, attractive and talented, <laughs> get off the stage. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And, no but he that. was up there, you know, so we got... and We, we knew uh, Richie Malone because he used to come and see Rick when he was about 12 and uh, he's very much moulded himself on Rick or the way we both play. And it takes some understanding of how Quo play guitar, believe it or not. I didn't believe that for years until trying to show Andy Brooks some stuff who's a very good guitar player. But there's something in the stroke. Whether it's a very plebeism in the way we play... Or whether it's prowess, I don't know. Something happens. And I watch people play, I go, oh, hang on, there's this, I see what you're doing wrong. I can see what they're doing wrong. Mm. And you can try and put it right. And apparently it's very gammy when you're trying to do that. No, you're playing that very well. It's wrong. So I to try. And so that's what we did with Richie. And Richie's very, very good. And we are going out for another year. Whether it goes again after that, I, I can't really see it. But I don't want to really? say it's an end run. Yeah, I'm kind of... That hurts, that thing. And I, as I said, I've seen this, now I've got this. I love You this. love this. Yes, you really, badly, really do. Badly so. I keep thinking that it's going to, the, this novelty may wear off or something. I don't know. What but is I'm, it then? What I is it about this? I don't know. I don't... I think, is it because it's something so fresh to you and so new and it it's a new be, challenge? Yeah, novel, yeah. It because, be that. Let, let's be honest, I mean, you've been doing this a while. You've been, <laughs> He's picking on me again. You said he wouldn't do that as well. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, Quo, I use the word again, it's proper legendary status. The things that, that you've done, that you've achieved, and you continue to do, longevity yeah. is rare. Uh, and just now, yeah, you know, and 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 you've got that. You have this loyal following. So maybe the buzz. It, it, you what you're looking for something new that still exercises that I creativity. Don't know. I, th- I think sometimes as well. My mother used to have this expression that's got hair on it. You know, if it was an old potato and a hair on yeah, it, yeah. you weren't going to eat that. So I sometimes see the quarry thing and it has hair in it, or that some people want us to stay there, or it. They, uh, 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 an expression Nick Wall came up with it's live on the fumes of the 70s right. it's great to be yeah the 70s were great but I'm hello I'm here yeah uh, I'm yeah. not the fellow with but the long the, hair and the ponytail but is that just, yeah. any hair or <laughs> <laughs> no you've got to, you're, you're all right you're all right I've got him if but he it, starts it, it, it is that thing that when with an audience you need you, you, you know the songs you've got to play yes and I you don't want mind to it. play I and, don't and mind of course you, you and that's right mm-hmm. and that's right but it's also having the freshness as well yeah. so to find in this I think it, it's, I think that's what I think that's what it is and I said I'm frightened that perhaps the, the novelty wears off but while it doesn't and now that I'm 51 obviously so I'm a, you did even bat an eyelid no. there that was good did you see that was it professional makes me 33 I'm absolutely fine with that <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I um, but I how, it, how okay let's talk about that let's mm. talk about the, the, the getting older the physical side mm. of it I don't mind that it's do you have are you alright with that 
Yeah, it's funny to me. I, I saw mean, someone went to see Tom, Tom Jones, and said he got, they got upset because he mentioned and started talking about age. I do all the time, and I remember talking about age, saying now we have an ageist society. Well, we always have had. It's something when we're young, look at him, he's old, and we look at the young people and say, you, I've been there, you're a... Don't swear, you said, didn't you? Yeah, You're don't. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Got that? Yeah. yeah. But where were when I look at myself when I was younger? I didn't say that, did I? Did I do that? Yes. And the idea the process is we need to grow older, otherwise we're gone. Do you think maybe it's also that it's the fact it's rock stars getting older, and there's something about <laughs> when, when the Sinatras and the Tony Bennetts yeah, and the, yeah. the that style, that sort of crooner yeah. kind of era mm. was was you could grow old, you could. You, it, it seemed to work. The you look at Mick getting up there and prancing. I like, I like to call him Uncle Mick. I have the greatest respect <laughs> for that man. I hate him really, but it's, it's his physicality and the way he looks after himself and his diligence and obsession with looking after himself. And I'm like that somewhat. I take it from him as well. And it, it seems to me that only he can really do that. That's why I feel that I could grow a bit more gracefully, yeah. do this other thing. But then you look at Tom. Tom's voice, it's, it's, it's all about yes. time. Tom is brilliant. Yes. Tom's voice is still yes. as as magnificent as it ever. And it changes, of course. We all change as we get older. But we find ways to still do what we do. Yeah, maybe it's drop it a tone or so. You aren't there yet, are you? No. Oh, am I not? <laughs> that B-flat and love changes <laughs> everything. It's, oh, really? it's a dim and distant oh, memory. Oh, no, I see. I can do it if the money's right, but it's rare. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it if the jeans are tight. Right. Boom. <laughs> Sorry about that. I but can't it, help but it. it's tr- it, 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 it's 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 having that thing. It's it, it is nostalgia because we all love the music mm. when we were growing up, the seventies and eighties mm-hmm. and so on. But it's 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 proven we're all still it alive. In, we're still the same. Thing. I said living on the fumes of the seventies, but I remember working the circuit and we would be asked Pink Floyd, Deep Purple, Led Zeppelin, Free, all these bands that all became, if you like, legendary. Yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah. They all became very well known. Don't knock it. And, but, and, and it's really odd that most of that, um, that, was that uh, decade, or maybe a little further than that, is still played regularly. I mean, you play, but then you play, we play it all yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine when we were teenagers that playing stuff that was 60 years old and looking for it and going out to get uh, parties or whatever else everybody so whether that's going to repeat if it can at all I don't know be fascinating if I can live long enough to see what comes next my money's on you <laughs> I think you will. <laughs> I like the way you did that. You were on stage there for yeah, yeah, money, yeah. yeah, my money's on. Yeah, money's on. Tunes yeah. and chat. Twenty twenty three. Acoustic hits and rarities on the road is touring across the UK until mid November. That's a long time, kid. No, it's not. You how, know, once you get going, it's yeah. Like, but how, oh. how many nights on and how many nights off? Oh, uh, I've got to cut the rhythm down. I'm going to try and cut down to two or three next. Time, but I think there's oh, the odd four or threes. That's a doddle. See? Eight shows a week, love. Yeah, well, you're, you're <laughs> I could not do that, I promise you. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the point. Oh. But Tunes and Chat Limited Edition 10-inch vinyl. Oh, yeah. Is that yeah, September the 22nd? I'm fascinated with that. The actual size of a 10-inch vinyl, I thought that'd be fabulous. And it is when you see the product itself. It's not as ordinary as a 12-inch no. piece, if you like. Let's move on, shall okay. we? OK. No, let's listen to it. <laughs> it's so nice to see you. <laughs> it really is. Best of luck. And Thank I, I you, I think Michael. the show's going to be triumphant. Thank you. So here is Francis Rossi, Spinning Wheel Blues, live. Well, lost by morning on Spinning Wheel last night.
Oh, that's brilliant. Francis Rossi, Spinning Wheel Blues, and I can't believe I got him through that entire interview without him using bad language. <laughs> that was a struggle. Oh, he's such a legend. I know he hates the word, but he is.